Hi there, and welcome to Thunkable's 2023 Hour of Code tutorial. This year, we're going to use the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning to create our very own translator app. Let's start with a quick demonstration of what you're going to build. Right here on our home screen, we've got a Start Translating button. This takes us then to the main translation screen. Over here, we've got a prompt to type in some phrase, like so. It's going to translate um, into Spanish for us. So we click Translate, and uh, we can see the translation appear right up here. We're also going to add two additional options. One, to change uh, the language, like so. Um, and you'll be able to add in any language that you like. And the final option then is to have a, um, a record of all of the uh, translations that you've done. So let's get started. The first screen that we see in the app is simply the home screen. We're using a background image and a button just to orient the user and let them know what our app is and what it's all about. The button here, or the functionality that we're going to add, is simply going to link the user to our next screen, Screen Translate. Over here, on the Screen Translation screen, this is the main functionality of the app. We give the user somewhere to type in their text, another button here to translate the, the text, and then we've got two menu items up here, one for the history and one for the um, changing the language. Over on the languages screen itself, we're going to learn how to use the list viewer and a list of data, and we're going to work with variables in the background so that we can set the language that we want to translate into. The final thing that we're going to do is introduce the data viewer component. This is one of Thunkable's most powerful components, and we're going to connect it to a data source. This is essentially going to act like our database, and it's going to store all of the translations that we've previously used. Over here on the uh, left-hand side, we can see our data source. We've got translation history, and we're also going to work with this assets tab as well. This is a collection of all of the different images and sound files and so forth that we're going to use inside the application. The main things that we're going to work with today, though, are going to be the component tree, which is just a list of all of the components in our app, and the components themselves. Very simple uh, drag and drop interface that allows you to essentially uh, pick and click your way to creating an app. The final thing that I'd recommend you do is download and install the Thunkable Live app on your device. This allows you to take your project and send it from your web browser directly to your phone um, and preview it on your device. You can get the Thunkable app directly from the App Store or the Play Store, um, depending on your device type. Go to thunkable.live to download it now. 